Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, Mercury, welcome to my channel. So today, another book review. So I've actually, I have read half of my books for the year, my, my goal. My goal that I set for myself was to read 12 books this year. I've read six. I've read six, so I am off to a great, great start that it is only April and I'm already halfway through my, my book list for the year. So, what did I read now? Well, you probably know from the, the title or the thumbnail. So I read Clown Girl, and that was by Monica Drake. And also, the intro to the book, um, I'm, I love this author, but I've never heard his last name pronounced, and I'm go going to mispronounce it, so I, if you know the proper pronunciation, please, you know, but phonetically put it in the comments so I learn how to properly pronounce it. Um, Chuck Palahniuk, he is the author of Fight Club, Choke, Invisible Monsters, um, amazing author. Um, but he wrote the introduction to this book, Clown Girl. So if you know anything about um, Chuck and the, the books that he writes, they're a little strange and slightly disturbing. Um, so the fact that he's writing the intro to this book, it's like, this book is also a little bit strange and slightly disturbing. Not, not in the realm of Chuck's books, but just so well, well written. I, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm like reflecting on all the things that happened in this book. And it was, it was quite a ride. It took me on. It was quite a ride. It took me on. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to describe this book without too, too many spoilers. So uh, a young woman who lives her life sort of on the outskirts of society. Clown girl, right? She's a clown. And as such, doesn't quite fit in, doesn't know her place in the world, still just trying to figure out life. And gets has, and then has a series of losses consecutively, multiple losses, one after the other, after the other. And her coping skills start to fail and things start to really get beyond her control. And it's like reading this book and getting it from her point of view, like, of course, it just makes sense. Like, this is so hard and this came out this, this weird, but... But then if you think about how somebody on the outside who just comes across her perceives how she's behaving, like you would be like, what is she doing? What? 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 I don't, but, but from her perspective and her journey of everything that happened to her in a very short period of time, like the entire book takes place over a couple of weeks. And to have that much happen to, to somebody that quickly and like the impact that it has on somebody who's already a little bit peculiar. Like she was coming across very peculiar <laughs> to, to an outside looking in. And a lot of it had to do with her grieving losses. And some of those losses to somebody on the outside might not make a tremendous amount of sense. Like one of those losses is an inanimate object, but it had sentimental value and it had deep meaning. And the loss of that object was really, really painful to her. And it meant so much more than just that object, but like people weren't getting it. People didn't understand that and were giving her a hard time about it. And then, you know, compound that with other things that were going on and not having support, not having friends, not having a, a social circle that she could rely on. A lot of her relationships were like transactional in nature and feeling very isolated because of that and you know, how, how painful that can be. But navigating it and still connecting to people and still trying and doing the best that she could and acknowledging that she was just doing the best that she could in a very challenging situation. Um, I, I don't have enough good things to say about this book. I 
thoroughly enjoyed it. This was great. This was a great journey. This was a great journey. This was a great world that the author created and invited me into and getting to see sort of like this character's perception of, of her life and the good, the bad, and the ugly of it and getting to go on that journey with her for that, that period of time that the book spans. It was, it was interesting and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a little all over the place, but yeah, it all over the place in a, in a really good way, in a really good way. Um, yeah, if, if I was doing this with spoilers, there would be so many examples that I would throw out there, but this is one that, read it, it's great. Uh, and I really don't want to ruin parts of it for you. So I'm being a little tight-lipped because <laughs> it's it's good. And if you sort of know what's coming, it won't quite land in the exact same way. Some of it might be a little predictable. You might kind of, you know, early on be like, oh, I see what's going to happen here. But like, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters that those parts are a little bit predictable. I think it doesn't detract from the story in any way. I think it still lets you continue on the journey because you want to know if, number one, if what you're thinking is what how it's going to play out, and two, is the character going to catch on? Um, yeah. So it was definitely an enjoyable book. Um, I. I want to see what other books Monica Drake has written because I, I enjoyed this so much that like another author to add to my, my list of top authors. I, I got sucked in on this one right away. And you know, sometimes there's authors that you read and there's a lot of build up. There's a lot of like setting the stage and in some cases super important and necessary. But sometimes it's too much and it, it takes forever to sort of get into the meat and potatoes of the story. This this book, right from the beginning, you're in it, you're going and you're you're there, you're in it. And I and I really enjoyed that because it was no no slow build, no no climbing up the ladder to get to the, the story. It's like, nope, you're in it, you're there, we're going with it. So definitely recommend Clown Girl by Monica Drake. And with that, I am done for the day. I'll see you all real soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.